Yeah, it's all love. Shout out to Icon, man. One thing I will give him is that is he's persistent. He's consistent. He's a hard worker. Um, shit, you know. But that's all about. It. <laughs> that's all about it, you know. He did give Lefty a platform, and Lefty took off after that. But if we're gonna be a buck, Lefty was gonna blow up on any platform that he was on. Any platform. Any platform you put Lefty on, and he was out of here. Lefty was 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 gone. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck, dog. You know, like, you know, um, you know, it, it is. I'm just, you know, like I said, it's all love. But since we're criticizing each other, I would like to criticize his craft too, dog. And his interviews, his podcasts are boring. Um, but with all due respect, you know, yeah, Negra is a great podcaster. Um, Lucky from Hoodstocks is amazing at podcasts. Even though he's crazy enough to rail this sometimes, hell of a podcaster. Um, American Cholo, hell of a podcaster. Um, Blue Devil is a hell of a podcaster by the way that he's never loses composure or poise, you know? Um, who else in the game is a great podcaster, man? Um, the homie from um, the Lit Outlet plug, he's dope as fuck. Um, you know what I'm saying? What else? Let me see what else, what else, what else? Rocky Nash, G Money, great podcasters. They have chemistry. They have an organic um, chemistry, even with even with high tone. Like they laugh on that motherfucker, like real laughs, not forced on fake laughs, dog. I see a lot of fake laughs on that podcast, Icons podcast. I'm not gonna front, dog. I'm not gonna front. And hey, man, you know this is my opinion. I, I wish Icon nothing but the best. Respectfully, I hope he knocks it out the park on his next venture. But um, man, there's a gang of good podcasters. I just think I'm just being serious, man. I'm just being real. I think that icon is boring. I think that it's boring, dog. I think that the questions asked are boring. I think that there's no energy in the podcast. You know, I think that, you know, I'm just being real, man. And and, and it's crazy. Look, people are saying that I'm upset. Look, man, I never. I'm not mad about the way he rated me. I'm just happy to have the opportunity to criticize each other and, and have this dialogue. You know, I'm just glad that he allowed me to finally criticize. His craft publicly because I've been dying to. I've been dying to. Yeah, it's corny. It's corny as best, fool. It's corny at best, you know? Like, um, you know, there. I don't know, man. Podcasting, look, dog. Podcasting is a very hard gig, homie. You know? You know what, Mr. Criminal? At least, <laughs> look, man. His podcast... <laughs> His podcast was entertaining because of the history that he had, dog. But as far as, like, engagement and him being organically, like, good at it, like, nah, man. I feel like I feel like that podcast was just meant to stroke his own ego, to boost his ego up. You know what I'm saying? Look, um, but what else, man? I don't know, man. I think that I'm doing great. You know what I'm saying? I think that I just did some big shows recently. I'm about to do another one coming up in November with Lefty. Um... Shit, I don't know. You guys tell me, man. You guys think I'm fucking up. Talk that shit, bro. You do your thing. I mean, I just dropped two classic albums back to back. You know, Southside Logo and Necessary Evil to me are classic albums. I think that I fucking killed it, dog. I think you started a label. Both of you are a good leader. I said, hey, let me ask you something. Who do you think would be a better podcaster? Me or Icon? Let's be real. Let's keep it a buck. Let's post this question. Let's, let's, let's post this question on all platforms, right? Who would be a better podcaster, me or Icon? Let's be real. Let's be real. No disrespect to the 